Well, in Denton and in Denton County generally, uh, there are a number of very common causes of car wrecks. One of the most common causes that we see, one of the most common fact scenarios we see play out is when somebody turns left across traffic. So for instance, if they're on a highway like Highway 380 that runs through Denton, uh, the highway has lots of stoplights and, and many times uh, people are attempting to turn left across traffic, across the oncoming lane of traffic. Many times we see drivers that simply don't yield when they should yield to oncoming traffic and as a result we see very serious wrecks that occur all the time for people turning left across traffic. Another common uh, fact scenario that leads to, to wrecks in Denton County is uh, or what we call simple rear-ender cases, rear-end rear -end collisions. Many of these cases are caused by traffic that's, that's stopped or, or, or that is stopping. And in Denton and Denton County, we see this very often because we have all these stoplights up and down Highway 380, because uh, I-35 going down into Dallas gets backed up and congested across uh, the Louisville Bridge and further south and it backs traffic up. Uh, many times we have people that are going at highway speeds and then all and, and they're simply not paying close attention and uh, and and folks are you know subject to being in these rear end collisions. Obviously at stop signs we see it many times also. Uh, the these are the most the most common types of, of wrecks we see, but we also see a fair number of, of, of head-on collisions. Uh, these can occur for drunk people that are driving while intoxicated, people that are distracted by things like cell phones, uh, often cause these type of wrecks. Uh, when it comes to causing all types of wrecks, it's been my experience, both in Denton County and throughout North Texas, that, uh, that most of the time we have some type of distraction involved. Most of the time, if it, we can, if we look back beyond what happened and try to figure out why it happened, we can almost always track it to something to, that causes somebody not to pay attention. Okay, very often it's cell phones. Uh, cell phones are the bane of uh, of of existence when it comes to uh, car wreck crashes. We see them over and over. It can be uh, changing the radio. It can be people that, that smoke or something along those lines, uh, you know, that, that are distracted while they're driving their vehicle. But again, the most common is, is simply the, the uh, cell phones. Uh, another issue that we see in Denton and Denton County is uh, drunk drivers. There's a there's a, lar a large number of drunk drivers. There's a in, in Denton and Denton County, as most of you know, you know have. TWU and, and North Texas, University of North Texas are both in Denton proper. Uh, as a result of, of being in a college town, uh, we do have increased likelihoods of uh, people being impaired when driving. We, we, we have a lot of bars as, you know, because of the, of the existence of the, of the colleges and that sort of thing. So you gotta be really, really careful. You gotta know that, those, that, that that's out there and those are possibilities. When it comes to, uh, to prosecuting cases uh, from you know, injury cases from, uh, from car wrecks, many times we have to look beyond the car wreck. We have to look, if we have an intoxicated individual, for instance, we, were, we want to do further investigation and look and see what bar were they at? Were they at a bar? Were they overserved at that bar? If they were overserved and you can show that the, that the bar knowingly overserved a person, uh, then you may be able to hold that bar responsible under dram shop liability. So there are many uh, other nuances to, to looking at car wrecks and when you have uh, when you have the right factual scenario, uh, sometimes it can be more than just a simple car wreck.